For countless high school students encountering the diary of Anne Frank is a rite of passage. This diary, penned by a young girl hiding in the heart of World War II, offers a perspective rarely found in our textbooks. Textbooks, by their very nature, provide a broad, generalized account of history. They present us with dates, events, and figures, painting a picture of the past with facts and statistics. Yet, these cold, impersonal narratives often fail to capture the human experience that shapes and is shaped by these historical events. This is where the Diary of Anne Frank diverges from the norm. It invites us into a world far removed from the sanitized accounts of history. Anne's words ferry us into the cramped hidden space of the secret annex, where she and her family lived in constant fear of discovery. Her vivid descriptions allow us to experience the suffocating atmosphere, the gnawing hunger, the tension that permeated every moment of their existence. Unlike the detached narrative of textbooks, Anne's diary offers a raw, unfiltered account of the war. We see history not as an observer but as a participant, living each moment with Anne as she navigates the terrifying realities of her life. This personal perspective highlights the brutality of war in a way that no summary in a textbook can replicate. We journey with Anne through her daily struggles, experiencing the fear, the uncertainty, the hope, and the despair that characterized her life in hiding. Her diary becomes a window into a world that most of us can only imagine, a world where survival is uncertain and freedom is but a distant dream. This is the power of the Diary of Anne Frank. It breaks the barrier of impersonal historical narratives, providing a first-hand account of a time that reshaped the world. It gives a voice to the millions whose stories were silenced by the war, reminding us of the human cost of conflict. So, as we delve into the pages of Anne's diary, we are not merely reading a book, we are stepping into the shoes of a young girl living in the shadow of war, experiencing history through her eyes. It's a first-hand account of war's brutality, far more impactful than any textbook summary can ever be. While the setting is historical, the themes tackled by Anne are universal. Yes, Anne Frank's diary was penned in the midst of World War II, but she writes about experiences that every teenager can relate to. This makes her diary more than just a historical document. It's a mirror reflecting the timeless struggles of adolescence. Anne grapples with feelings of frustration, confusion, and longing that are all too familiar to high school students. She navigates complex family dynamics, often clashing with her mother and sister. These familial conflicts are a universal part of growing up, something that every teenager can relate to, regardless of the era they live in. Beyond family issues, Anne is also on a journey of self-discovery, She's exploring her identity, her place in the world, and her aspirations for the future. This search for self is a journey every adolescent embarks on, making Anne's experiences resonate deeply with young readers. And then there's the theme of freedom, or rather the lack of it. Anne yearns for a normal life outside the confines of the Annex. She dreams of a world where she can freely express herself, make friends, and explore her interests. This longing for freedom, this desire to break free from constraints, is something that every teenager can connect with. Through Anne's candid voice, students realize they're not alone in their struggles, and the human spirit endures even in the darkest times. So even though Anne's diary is set in a specific historical context, its themes are universal, making it a timeless read for every teenager. Anne's diary stands as a testament to the power of writing. In the hushed hidden corners of the secret annex, a young girl transformed her confinement into a canvas of self-expression. With each penned entry, Anne Frank breathed life into the pages of her diary, using it as a confidant, a sounding board, and a sanctuary. Her diary became a repository for her deepest thoughts, her wildest dreams, and her darkest fears. It was her constant companion, a silent listener that allowed her to express her feelings without judgment, without interruption. It was her escape a portal that transcended the physical boundaries of her hiding place and offered her a semblance of freedom. But her diary was more than just a personal refuge. It was also a testament to her resilience, her intellect, and her indomitable spirit. Her insightful observations and thoughtful reflections reveal a curious mind, a keen observer, and a budding writer. Her words, penned in the shadow of war, echo with a wisdom and maturity far beyond her years. And it's this power of the written word that continues to inspire students around the world. Reading Anne's diary, they find a mirror to their own emotions, 
a guide to their own experiences. They discover the power of their own voice, the strength in their own thoughts. They learn that writing is not just a means of communication, but a tool for introspection, a catalyst for change, and a testament to their own resilience. Reading Anne's diary inspires high school students to discover the power of their own voice. The diary of Anne Frank is not an easy read. With its unflinching account of life under oppressive conditions, it forces us to confront the harsh realities of war, prejudice, and persecution. However, it's precisely these uncomfortable truths that make this book an invaluable tool for sparking discussions. Imagine yourself in a classroom, wrestling with the dilemmas faced by Anne and her family. What would you do in their shoes? What does the diary reveal about human behavior in times of crisis? And how does it resonate with current events where prejudice and discrimination still persist? These aren't easy questions, but they're important ones. They push us to think critically, to empathize with others, and to challenge our own biases. And by doing so, they open our eyes to the complexities of the world we live in. So remember, while The Diary of Anne Frank may be a challenging read, it's this very challenge that makes it so rewarding. These discussions foster critical thinking skills and a deeper understanding of the world around them. The diary ends abruptly, leaving Anne's fate unknown to the reader for many years. This unfinished narrative, while heartbreaking, serves as a potent catalyst. It pushes us to seek answers beyond the confines of this diary, to delve deeper into the chilling history of the Holocaust, and to confront the horrifying reality of genocide. Yet, this is more than just an invitation for historical exploration. It's a clarion call to action, a challenge to each of us to look around and acknowledge the prejudice, discrimination, and hatred that persist in our society today. It urges us to reflect on the choices we make, the beliefs we hold, and the actions we take in response to injustice. Anne's diary, in its raw and unfiltered honesty, serves as a stark reminder. It reminds us of the enduring power of the human spirit and the dire consequences of apathy. The Diary of Anne Frank pushes us to confront harsh realities and challenges us to make a difference in our world. Before we wrap up, we'd like to remind you that this journey of learning and exploring doesn't have to end here. If you've enjoyed our deep dive into The Diary of Anne Frank, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Found this video informative? Show your support by hitting the like button. And, if you believe in the power of shared knowledge as we do, feel free to share this video with your friends and family. Remember, every share is a step towards spreading awareness and fostering understanding. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when we release new videos. Thank you for joining us in today's exploration and remember, knowledge is power when shared.